in this video i am going to explain you about the construction details step by step recently we have constructed a 20 by 30 duplex house you can see the 20 30 plot and also the column plans the first step in this construction would be a marking where we have done the marking for all the eight columns and also we have done the marking for uh, water sump as well once the marking is completed we started the soil excavation where already neighbor house have been constructed so we have done the soil excavation manually once the soil excavation is completed then we started with the column marking where we have done the column marking for all the eight columns in this plan we have the eight columns for this house once the column marking work has been completed then we started the preparation for footing you can see the steel work where this is used for the footing and it will be placed at the bottom once we uh, prepare the footing uh, then uh, we started with the column preparation <coughs> in this construction uh, we use the SK steel uh, we use the 4 of diameter 16 and uh, 4 of uh, diameter tall uh, steels and once all the columns have been placed then we started the preparation for footing concrete for all the construction work we use the birla 53 grade for all the concrete work you can see the pedestal where the pedestal gives the strength to the column you can see the putting concrete for water sump once the footing is done then we started preparing for a column you can see the centering for a column then we have put the concrete for all the columns you can see the with the pedestal uh, all the columns all the eight columns you can see and also we started constructing the water sump in this we use the 6 by 8 by 9 feet of uh, water sump it is almost uh, having a storing capacity of uh, 12,000 uh, liters and also like uh, curing is uh, very important in construction you can see one of the method uh, uh, where we have placed the plastic bags for all the columns and we have stored the water and also with the pin we have made the small holes where uh, it continuously provides the water to all the columns we started the uh, plastering for uh, water sump where we have used the mesh and also you can see the some of the pipes uh, which we have connected for water for cowery borewell and for uh, CMC water in this uh, building we have used the uh, Ramco blocks for uh, complete construction uh, you can see the we were checking the curing of these blocks so again we started the soil excavation for uh, stone work once up, after completion of columns you can see the soil excavation process so you can see the stone work these are natural stones where uh, stone work is in progress across all the columns you can see the completion of uh, stone work throughout the, all the columns 
front, back and both the sides. Then uh, we have filled the soil and also we have put the water so that you know uh, soil fills uh, appropriately. So this is the plinth beam uh, plan where it connects all the uh, columns. Then uh, we have done the steel work for uh, plinth beam as per the plinth beam plan. Then you can see the centering works where uh, all these uh, plinth beams are uh, connected. Once we completed the centering work. Uh, we have done the concrete for uh, this plinth beam. You can see the plinth beam which is uh, ready now. Once we complete the work till uh, plinth beam, then uh, uh, we have started the plumbing work where you can see the plum plumbing work in progress where uh, we have done for all the water connection and for the sanitary connection as well once the plumbing work was going on like we also started uh, filling back the soil for uh, preparation of uh, plinth beam bed once we completed all the plumbing work then we have completed the plinth beam bed so in this video I have covered from uh, marking to plinth beam uh, step by step process for construction hope this video was useful thank you see you in next video